Watch this and more only on Yippee.tv. And furthermore, building a pyramid in ancient Egypt was no easy task. It took over two million stone blocks to build the Great Pyramid. You'll think it'd be a bit heavier. Whoa. Whoa. Get it? Heavier? Whoa. <laughs> well, the point is, well, the point is rather sharp. Whoa. Uh, see? <laughs> sharp? Point? <laughs> The point is, the Egyptians built the pyramids to honor their pharaohs. Imagine the greatness of the pharaoh who could command such a monumental feat. Yes! A great pharaoh like me deserves a fitting tribute by his adoring followers. Of course, exactly how the pyramids were built is a question people have been wondering about for ages. And... What? How'd that get in here? <laughs> and so that concludes our lecture for today. <sighs> Bravo! Encore, dude! Woohoo! Yeah, man! Come, Maxon. We have much to do. I want a pyramid built in my honor. A what? My own pyramid. A tribute to the leader's power that lasts an eternity. Sire, that's even longer than the professor's lecture. Uh, excuse me, Professor Badetti. Oh, um, great lecture. Uh, yes, it was. And you're lucky to have heard it. Why, when I lectured in Cairo, it was standing room only. Yeah, at least I didn't have to worry about any big crowds today. Actually, Professor, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. I've got a great idea for a really cool exhibit guaranteed to bring more people in. <laughs> it's a full-scale replica of the Temple of Karnak. Oh, sorry, Cleo. I'm sure it's a wonderful idea, but I've, um, got to go buy goggles for my goldfish. But I thought I could help. Well, you can help by putting away all these chairs. But ah! uh, uh, perhaps you should walk in the shade for your complexion. Ah, now where shall we put my pyramid? It must be massive to match my tremendous personality. Yes, your mammoth eagerness. Location is everything, Luxor. Location, location, location. Perhaps here, on this useless patch of grass and trees. It's called a park, sire? And I call it mine! Your subjects would surely object. Ah, not once they see my great pyramid. Ah, better yet, that land over there is already being prepared. Ah, uh, your royal decrepitude, I don't think you can go in there. <laughs> of course I can. I am the pharaoh. But, sire, the... <gasps> ah! ah, what a lovely view of my kingdom. The perfect place for a pyramid. Yes, perfect. My pharaoh! Thea. You with a fancy helmet! You better get down from there, it's not safe! What are you, crazy? Uh, Cleo, we've got a problem. Tell me about it. The professor won't even listen to my plans for the museum, and... When you said, we got a problem, you meant what exactly? Why are you 
you're not building my pyramid. What? Dad, I mean... Tucker! The wardrobe department is going to be wondering what happened to the mummy costume. <laughs> Tuck's a great actor, always in character. <laughs> Let's go. But Cleo, I want them to build me a pyramid. I demand it. Sorry, Tut, but you can't always get what you want. But I'm... Even if you're Pharaoh. This is treason! I will... Get me out of here! Wow, that's beautiful, Cleo. Uh, thank you. I didn't know you were so talented. That makes two of us. <laughs> that looks like a statue of the... Tut, Unkin, Floppin, Sockin, Loffin, man, man. That Tut, Unkin, set the moon, you don't! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Oh! Oh! Man, not again, bro. Dude, I can't handle it. <laughs> oh! Those pyramid workers will pay! First, I'll boil them in oil, toss their bones into a fiery pit, then grind them into dust and scatter them over the desert sands! So, Cleo, where can I get 20 million tons of limestone? I don't know, and I don't care. I've got my own problems. Now see if you can stay out of trouble for five minutes. <laughs> problems? What does Cleo know of problems? Those workers dissed me, as she might say. The pharaoh wants a pyramid, and they do nothing except treat me like a commoner. Stop grooming yourself! It's disrespectful to groom while I rant! And when the pharaoh orders his people to work, they should do it! Besides, I only ask for one measly pyramid. It's not as if I ask for one on every street corner. Well, not yet. Tut, check it out! What kind of insignificant trinket is this you bring me? It's a model of the ancient temple of Karnak. I know what it is! But why do you present me with this puny, sickly little temple when I want a pyramid? It's not for you, it's for Professor Badetti. How dare you bestow gifts to one lesser than me! It is blasphemy! Treason! Punishable by death! And even worse things than that! And you are off building this thing of twigs and not listening to my troubles? Does the world conspire to drive me mad? Yes, everyone actually gets together every night and makes plans. That is an outrage. Uh, Tut, what did you do? Greetings, masterful to Duncan Center Moon. Hathor, goddess of love, what are you doing here? I have heard your troubles, and it greatly disturbs me. No pharaoh should ever be treated so thoughtlessly. You see? She knows. First, my people mocked me with their words. Blasphemy. Then they told me to leave. Fools. Then they dumped sludge on me. They shall all pay. Your mistreatment shall be remedied. What is she doing? I think she's changing. According to the myths, Hathor has been known to change from one goddess into another. And I'm guessing this isn't one of the friendlier goddesses. Sekhmet, the lioness deity. <laughs> Do you think Sekhmet is going to build me my pyramid? Let's see. Love goddess turns into lion goddess. Ah, here it is! Hathor got all mad when the sun god Ra complained of getting no respect. So she turned into Sekhmet, the lioness goddess, and went out to take revenge. So, no pyramid? Nope, just a lot of biting and eating and destruction in your name. <laughs> the construction workers!
For now. You smashed my diorama? It, it it was a royal accident. And now I am royally sorry. Uh, hold that apology. It's time to flee. We can't. We've got to stop segment. But how? I'm working on it. Uh, well, wouldn't it be wiser to wait for Cleo? We'll be fine, Luxor. If I tell Segment to stop, she'll stop. Surely she'll listen to me. Now, how can we find her? That'll work. Okay, nothing to be afraid of here. You're just a cute, oversized pussycat. With nice, oversized teeth. <laughs> Sire, I wonder if trying to reason with Sekhmet is the best way to go. Wouldn't hiding be so much wiser? Luxor, Luxor, Luxor. I am the Pharaoh! There is nothing to be afraid of! <laughs> Sekhmet? I said, Sekhmet! You can turn back into Hathor now! I take it she didn't quite go for your suggestion. When this is over, Hathor will be cleaning up hippo dung in the underworld for eternity! Oh. Help! <laughs> Careful, that's a priceless 16th century Belgian tapestry. It's fragile, like me. <laughs> Right, fine, no problem. We can always find another. <laughs> I'm warning you, I will call security. <laughs> Jacobs, help! <laughs> Jacobs, Walter! Here we go. Help wanted. Dishwasher. <laughs> no overtime. No vacation. No health insurance. Ah! No man-eating lions! Ah! Come on. Come on. Police. Police. Ah! We must do something. I agree. Let's move to Brazil. I love to samba. Jacobs, and give me that. Hmm, dishwasher. Good job, Luxor. You saved the professor from the lioness, but you've learned her right to us. Yes, how very clever of me. <laughs> Guys, I found this in the library. It's a way to stop segment. That is wonderful, Cleo. But since your segment was so into her vengeance thing, she started to enjoy it. You believe that? Maybe. Anyway, nothing the sun god Ra said could stop Segment until the gods tricked her with a potion. She was behind me? Yeah. Oh, you could have said something! You guys! Yeah. Yeah. Just keep Miss Kitty busy. 
I'm gonna mix up some special segment sauce. Be <laughs> you! Well, hold the onions. She's already had plenty. Ah, uh, you know, I think this relationship is moving just a bit too fast for me. <laughs> okay, says here the segment was defeated with a potion made of red ochre. An oxide of iron that can be found in certain paints. Uh, hope this is one of them. That's the potion? It's supposed to pacify Segment by looking like, a uh, blood, so that she won't drink the real thing. Not my beverage of choice, but I'm hoping it works for lion goddesses. <laughs> Honestly, Segment, it'll never work out. I'm a rambling kind of cat. I'll just end up breaking your heart. Segment! Back away from the tiny little cat! Oh, glorious Segment! I present thee with the drink of the gods! And I thank you for healing me of my destructive side. Not a prop. If ever there is anything I can do for you, let me know. Um, I don't suppose you could do anything about all the museum damage? As you wish. I'm going to miss her. Okay, not really. Cleo! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Did you see it? A lion was loose. A huge one. I've had the police search the whole museum, but they couldn't find a trace of it. A lion? <laughs> now, why would a lion be in the museum? One more thing. Would you care to explain this? Explain what? Your plans for the Temple of Karnak. It's magnificent. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Well, <laughs> I suppose I could have. And after seeing my model diorama, which someone rebuilt, Thank you very much. The professor's planning a room for the full-scale replica. Isn't that awesome? You worked hard for it, Cleo. You deserve to get what you want. Is Tenstein okay? He seems sad. He's happy for you, because you got what you wanted. But he got nothing. The Great Pyramid of King Tut Ankenset Amun. It makes a pharaoh proud to be a pharaoh. You deserve this, Tut. When things went wrong, you worked hard to make everything right again. But what happened to your temple? Temple pyramid? What's the diff? Hmm. I suppose you're right. After all, your idea for boosting museum attendance has certainly worked well. Why, just look at all the people. <laughs> What's all the commotion? This way, sire. I hear there's a terrific view from the ventilation shaft. Cleo, how on earth was this pyramid built? You know, that's a question people have been wondering about for ages. 